Well, hello everybody. It's Monday, it's time to shave. I didn't shave all weekend. Well, I didn't shave properly. I did, uh, I did this every day just because I, I, I did. This is what I do a lot on the weekends when I'm being lazy. I don't want to be unshaven because I get all So uh, I do that, yeah, and I take a shower and do that. I do that before I take a shower. And then, uh, anyway, it's time to shave for real today. Shall we? Yes, let's do it properly. Feels good to get back and actually shave and get a good close shave. Got a couple of shout outs today and uh, got a big, the big reveal this coming Friday, I believe, is when I'll do the, uh, the new Rockwell Razor review that will be released a couple of days after that. Anyway, but for now, I've just been delving into my Razor collection and uh, I, I got this one. Do you remember this one? This is a 1966 Gillette Slim Twist. This is the Beetle Razor, folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you watch, if you do a quick Google search, and uh, or search Sinatra Lennon Beetle Razor, and you'll see a video I made on this whole thing, and uh, you'll see pictures of the Beatles standing, all four of them standing in front of a, a mirror, shaving with this white plastic handled slim twist. It is not adjustable. I don't remember how well it shaves. I think it's fairly mild. This one was cool because it comes with the little thingy. You know, the thingy, the thingy, the fiendish thingy. All right, so uh, let's put a blade in this thing. It's a butterfly, but it does it up here. See? Do, 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 do. There you go. This one's in beautiful shape. I think this came from like Poland or something, or Turkey, or I don't know. It came from somewhere far, far afield. So, and I'm going to use a Persona blade in it. Why? I don't know. I just found some. I just, I've been scrounging, folks. You ever do that? Like last night for dinner? We'd gone out to, I think we. Went out to eat Friday night and Saturday night, which is not great, you know, financially, but you know, it's fun because of the weekend, what the heck. So last night we did scrounge. We scrounged for dinner. You know, you just find stuff in the, in the pantry, in the refrigerator, maybe some leftover stuff. You guys weird about leftovers? Some people are weird about leftovers. They don't want to eat leftovers. I don't know. I don't mind. I don't mind, depending on what it is. Okay, so we're going to lather up with some gravel shaving soap. Remember this was sent to me? A while back, it smells like a shaving soap. It smells like a masculine shaving soap. We're gonna lather it up with this real brush. It's not a synthetic. Yeah, look at this hair, what's going on there? And it's this beautiful vintage handle that was sent to me, made special for me a few years ago and sent to me, so I appreciate uh, the gentleman that did this. I don't remember his name, but this is a pure badger, well, the vintage one. It says, Made Right. I love the color. I love the patina on this thing. It's been soaking, because that's what you have to do with a real badger brush. And uh, just for old time's sake, I'm going to use some Osage rub. It's been so long. It used to be my, like, almost daily driver, and now it just sits neglected. Poor thing. All right, I took a shower, did my hair. I'm going to put some hot water on my face. Woo! That's hot. Too hot in the hot tub. All right, let's lather the heck out of this gravel. So gravel was a men's fragrance. It was like one of the earliest true American men's fragrances, like 1957. Still for sale to this day. And uh, if you buy it, it has little bits of gravel in the bottom of the, of the cologne. It's so strange. And it comes from, I believe, the Hudson River in New York, which is, which is weird. Or maybe it's the East River. I don't know. Maybe it's the... I hope they choose the clean one and that they wash the stones, the gravel... Anyway, we're gonna lather this sucker up. It's lathering up beautifully. This is what I learned early on, or well, medium early on with these uh, natural bristle brushes. I need to use more soap than I do for the synthetic. At least that's been my experience. So once I got that figured out, it went a lot better using these. Cause I really don't, I only have a couple of actual natural badger brushes. Most of mine are synthetic, which in my opinion, are superior for many, many reasons. And I get a lovely letter from the Badgers every month that says, thanks for not using us. <laughs> it's like, hey guys, it's not about that. Is it? It's about the quality of shape. And plus these things shed. These things shed. See? Yeah. Synthetics can shed too. But generally there's only a couple in that it's over. But these, the, I mean, I've been using this one for a couple of years. I don't use it very often, but. Uh... All right. Persona Blade 1960. Is it okay? Yes, it's okay. Is that right? Is that right? All right. Yeah, still good. Not bent. 1966 Gillette Slim Twist, the Beetle Razor. Yeah, this is a mild razor. I keep it in the drawer down here just because 
you know, it's got its little carrying case that it came in. And, you know, that looks kind of cool. I've got the only other one I have like that is the 66. Oh, is this, is, yeah, this is 66 as well. Both of these. So you got the slim twist, which was like a European, you know, overseas. And this is the, the slim adjustable. Both the same year. Got a little case. I'll put that over here because that case is kind of broken. All right. Back to shaving. And as I said, oh, this is a very mild razor. This is why I don't use it. Yeah, too mild. Too mild for me. Beetles? Maybe they had, uh, maybe that's why they started growing beards. Grew those mustaches first, 66, 67. After that, I think they used a lot of uh, electric razors. So we got two shout outs. The first one, oh, it was, it's a belated birthday. Robert in Canada, he turned 24 last Friday. So happy belated birthday, Robert in Canada. I hope you're staying warm up there. I imagine it's cold right now. Since if it's cold down here in Texas, and it's kind of cold today, beautiful sunny day, you know, I, when I say cold, I mean, it's going to be, you know, a high of 60 here and that's degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> anyway, happy belated to Robert up there in Canada, somewhere in Canada. He won't say where because he doesn't want me to dox him. <laughs> Somebody will find him. I'm looking for that Robert that lives here in Canada. Do you know where he lives? Yeah, he lives in this province. I know that guy. Are they provinces? That's terrible. Hey, you know what? I've, I've, my son is a geography whiz. He's fascinated by it. I've always been terrible with it, but my wife just bought a new... <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you this. My wife just bought a new shower curtain for the kids' bathroom that is the map of the world with all the, the you know, everything labeled. So as I'm sitting there pondering, I can now learn my geography. I just want to learn the difference between Scandinavia and the Netherlands and where Finland is and Iceland and uh, those things. That's my sticking point. All that stuff that's kind of up there. But now... I'll be able to learn. Don't quiz me, please. All right, there's the first pass. Let's see what it feels like. Yeah, that's fine. This is gonna be a little bit more work. There's a lot going on up here, a lot down here. Let's put some more hot water. I'll tell you what, this gravel smells really nice though. It just smells like a beautiful, classic shaving soap with a slight hint of like a masculine cologne, you know, nothing too strong. But just like if you went to a high-end barber shop and they were going to give you a shave, you know, that they would use this stuff. They might even warm it up for you. Ooh, fancy. Fancy. Somebody commented on one of my videos. Obviously, they don't watch my videos, but they said, well, how come you don't use a hot towel before you shave? It's like, because I take a shower. I tell you that. That's part of the deal. I took a shower. Did my hair. Forget about it. I don't know why I started doing that voice. Because I'm annoying. All right, here we go. Second pass across. This is kind of an interesting little razor. I mean, it's like shaped like a wedge, you know, on the side. I don't know what they were thinking when they came up with this design. Why plastic, I wonder? I mean, cheaper, obviously, but at the same time, they were making the slim adjustables. I don't know. I'd have to go back and see... Like if there is promotional material, you know, advertising this, there probably is. I just haven't, I haven't done any research. What do you, you want me to do work for this channel? Come on. We're just here to shoot the breeze and shave. Ah, come on. If you want work, you got to go to the real channels like Geo Fat Boy. He, he and, 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 and Mark over at the Sharpologist, they do some real work. They do all the work. Mantic 59, I'm saying. Sharpologist, yeah. That's been a, a real thrill to uh, have a couple of emails back and forth with uh, with Mark, Mantic59. Since he's one of the OGs that I went to when I first started learning how to shave with a safety razor. And, uh, you know, Kevy, of course, and uh, John Shaves. Oh, that guy's a pill. You should watch his channel. He is funny, man. He is like... Typical, great, jovial Englishman, you know? Great sense of humor, great kind of take on life. John Shaves 101, isn't that right? I, this is going to be my thing. I just always forget what is that. 
And then he comments down below. Shout out to you, John. I think it I, was it your daughter that also has a shaving channel, or am I, am I misremembering that? All right, there's the second pass. There's still a lot going down here. You know, it's a pretty mild razor, so it's not gonna got a lot going on up here too. Not a lot going on. Huh. All right, put some more hot water up. You know, I could probably use some more soap, and I'm going to just because I'm I'm gonna be luxurious today and maybe grab some more soap and get a big old. Oh, I need some more water. That's, that's the key. And somebody asked me, are you, when you lather, are you like, is that what you get in real time as I'm watching the video? Or do you like cut away and edit? It's like, no, this is, I don't do, the only time I do edits is if I forget something and I have to leave the bathroom to go get it and come back. That way you're not seeing this shirtless man walk around. But otherwise, no, you see, you're seeing me lather in real time, in real face. It is a pleasure. Once you get used to using, God, I'm slinging soap everywhere. Uh, once you get used to using a brush, because, you know, at first it feels weird if you're used to just, uh, you know, applying, you know, shaving cream with your hand, like, you know, squirting it in there and just doing like that. So it, it does, it may feel a little strange at first if you go that direction. You don't have to. You don't have to use a brush. You can use whatever shaving accoutrement you need in the place of shaving cream. Real shaving cream. Ivory soap, as I've done in the past. People still comment on that ivory soap shave, you know. It's like, oh, yeah, I, my dad used to do that, and I do that. It's like, oh, yeah, I never even thought about it myself. But any old soap, of course, you know, you're going to have different experiences shaving. If you, if you use a really nice, you know, made-for shaving soap, they might make sure that it's extra slick, you know, for, for your face. So, But you can do it. You know, you could probably shave with palm olive dish soap if you worked at it, you know. I wouldn't recommend it. Maybe I should do that for a video. See if I can do it. See if I can lather with just that blue palm olive, you know. Or Dawn. Dawn. That's the stuff. The stuff that they, you know, wash off the little baby ducks when they get oil spills on them. If it's safe enough for a baby duck, it's safe enough for me. Oh, and by the way, speaking of baby ducks... My son's birthday is coming up, and we promised that we're going to get him two ducks. I know I, I told you about this a while back, and people are like, oh, don't do this, or the poop smells so terrible. It's like, well, we're just going to go for it. I'm against it, because I'm sure there'll be so many unforeseen things that will make it not as enjoyable as my son thinks it's, it's going to be, but... I don't also want to don't want to crush his dreams. <laughs> I mean, he's such an animal lover, but he, you know, he's gone off ducks and now he's on to uh, gorillas. He's fascinated, and so he'll get hooked on a new. And this is like me when it comes to uh, uh, you know different things that I'm into. Like one week I'm totally into the Beatles, the next week I'm into guitars, the next week I'm into the JFK assassination, the next week I'm into you know, prop replicas of Star Wars. I don't know. And so I get it. I get it. But for him, it's animals. And and some of these animals, he asks for... <laughs> oh, man, this is really, really mild. I mean, I've gone over this a couple times. There's still plenty of whiskers here. Not a great razor. Not a great, not a great razor. <laughs> anyway, so we got that coming up. Oh, I have one more shout-out. A gentleman in the Netherlands, which now I know where they are because I've been looking at that shower curtain. Patrick Hoevelt. Patrick, shout out to you in the Netherlands. I hope I mispronounced that correctly. That's an old joke. Patrick Hoevelt. 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 Anyway, Patrick, shout out to you in the Netherlands. Um, we might be in your area this summer if I get to go on that trip. But we'll see. We'll see. I'll keep everyone up to date. If this uh, England slash Germany slash Austria slash Amsterdam slash whatever trip happens and whatever part I can be on, I'll let you all know. Because I, I will at least, I mean, I need to see the World War II stuff. We might go to Berchtesgaden where the Eagle's Nest is, you know, where all those crazy guys had all their houses and stuff up there. I would love to see that it's beautiful mountainous area. But we'll see. We'll see. It's all up in the air for me. All right. So let's. What if I'm gonna? I'm gonna rinse off with slightly warm water this time instead of cold. I don't feel like being cold. 
I feel like being warm. Ooh, nice. You know, even with a very mild razor, if you do the right amount of work, you can get a good shave out. I mean, that's a great shave. It's very smooth. Feels good. Feels much nicer than uh, shaving with just a electric razor. But there you go. So, all done. Clean this guy up. Put him back in his case. Take the persona out of there. Maybe it was the persona that was... You guys have any opinions on the persona? I don't know. I just always use feather. That's my go-to. That's my thing. That's my jam. As the kids say, right? They don't say that. <laughs> it's funny when I was doing that, my Liverpudlian accent. Somebody that lives in Liverpool says, yeah, you're kind of using, or you sound like, uh, and using slang like from the 60s. <laughs> it's like, well, yeah, that's, that's what I'm, that's all the Liverpudlian I'm, I'm hearing. All the scouse I'm hearing is from the Beatles in the 60s. So, yeah, I thought that was kind of cool, actually. All right. Osage rub. Osage rub. Let's get rubbed, folks. You don't need much. Mm. If you haven't used this stuff yet, seek it out and try it. I wish you could buy like just a small bottle because you may hate it and then you're stuck with this thing. Of course, you just throw it away. Don't drink it. It's very mentholated. It smells green. It smells like menthol. It stings. It tingles. It's cold. What a, what a rush. All right. And wash my hands off, and then I'll clean up after we're done here. But thanks for joining me, folks. And uh, yeah, I think this uh, this Friday I'll be doing the review unboxing of the new Rockwell razor. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for joining me. Leave a comment. I read every single one of them, even if I can't remember to <laughs> to respond to all of them. I just don't have enough time. All right, everyone. Have a great week, and I'll see you all very soon.